Okay, welcome back to the beer room. It's time for another beer review. And on this episode, or this show, we're going to be trying something from the Sydney Beer Co. They were first established in 2016. So we'll put the beer goggles on so we can just see what it says. It's 4.5%. They're Sydney's premium lager. So that's what they're saying. Uh, brewed and canned in Australia, Sydney Beer Co. Blah, 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 Margaret Street, New South Wales. Not much else on the can. It's a 330ml can, so she's a baby can. Uh, we'll just, before we crack her open, we'll just um, have a bit of a read what they say, a bit of story on them. So who owns Sydney Beer? Matt Siley, apparently he was a barman or bartender. Previous stints at Uncle Ming's, Forvo and Zeta has launched a Sydney Beer Co with business partner David Maronese in 2016. So, we'll just go on their website. Yes, I'm 18. The Sydney Beer Co was established with a simple purpose, to produce Sydney's premium lager, a beer Sydney ciders would be proud to call their own. So since 2016, we've been fueled by a belief that our iconic city deserves a local-owned premium lager as an alternative to the mainstream Asian and European brands that dominate the market, other than BB, Tui's, uh, whatever else. So they went on a big marketing campaign back then. They brought in Brett Lee, the cricketer, Matt Noble, the actor, football commentator sometimes. Um, so they brought those two in. They say it's made from natural and preservative-free ingredients. Sydney BK Lager lies true to a classic style, clean, crisp and refreshing, a sessionable lager that is approachable for any occasion. It's the local premier lager served by Sydney's most iconic venues. So some of them is Jackson's on George, The Quay, Benelong, The Oaks, um, Sydney Airport. So that's enough of that. So let's just crack her open. There we have it. It's a pale straw colour, nice white froth into this little midi glass, which I still can't read what it says on it. It does say Casey's Beer Room. Let's just turn it around so maybe you might be able to see it there. I don't know if you can because this camera with that window over there seems to get very bright. But anyway, you might be able to see it. So that's what it looks like. Light straw colored, a little bit of carbonation, nice white froth. So normally, Around this point in my last couple, I would have gone to say what other beer reviewers have said about this one. Couldn't find any. I don't know whether I just didn't look hard enough, but there was no reviews on the tube. The only thing I did find was their own little promotional thing. And another guy, I don't know if he works for the company, he, well, he's got something to do with it because it was pretty uh, much like a promotional ad was I think it was Havlas Boulevard Havlas something anyway so if I can I'm going to put a little bit of a clip up of what he said it's not that long I don't even know if I can do it but anyway if you see it you see it. if you don't don't worry about it so we got to look at the colour let's have a smell of it Yeah, it's got the it's got the lager smell, very grainy, malty. Not a strong grainy smell, but smells alright, smells like beer. So that's enough of the snatch, let's get it down the hatch.
Yeah, it's good. I already had about, I think I've had three already, and they're very easy to drink. They're very light bodied, so it's not like there's other lagers, like the one I did last week, where is he, Corfs, somewhere up here. He's over here hiding the Corfs. Draft, but that was an ale, that was pretty heavy. Uh, I find some of the lagers are very sweet and just bloat you, but this one is very light and refreshing and crisp, as they always say. But it's all right. I, I don't mind this. It's quite good, and it was only seventeen bucks at Chamberella's, like for a six pack. So pretty good. So. If you're not into the craft beers, the IPAs, the pale ales and all that sort of garbage, you just like drinking like the good old Aussie lagers like BB, Carton, uh, 2E's, 4X, Swan, Emu, James Bogues or whatever you enjoy go out and get one of these because I think you'll enjoy these as well they're very easy to drink you, I reckon I could drink a shitload of these before I got sick of it and too bloated so I recommend go and buy them 17 bucks for a six pack can't go wrong there even though it is a little small can but uh, yeah quite enjoy it I'm going to give it a send it so out of five I reckon that's this would easily be, I'm gonna give it a 3.8241. 3.8241 for the Sydney Beer Co. La, what do they say? Sydney's premium lager. Get one up ya and have a good weekend. And as usual, fucking send it. Yeah, baby.